Now, this battle broke out in March of 1862, right along the Mississippi River. That's where the name Shiloh comes from. And it was another Confederate attack. And just to remind everybody, the Confederacy is what part of the country? And the Union is the? Good. My name is Bonnie Stafford, and I am a social studies teacher at Moorhead High School. I teach ninth grade U.S. history, 10th grade U.S. history, and sociology. And I am working with Don Gunderson, who is a 10th grade English teacher as well as a theater arts teacher at Moorhead High School. The project that we're doing in the classroom is um, using theater and photography to learn about the Civil War. You are going to look at the photo and you are going to fill out this photo analysis worksheet, okay? The goal is you are going to try to agree upon what happened surrounding this photo. The before, the during, and the after. We're probably scared out of their minds to even go into the war in the first place. And they didn't know what was going to happen next to them, if they were going to survive the war and go back to their families, or if they were going to end like here in the picture. The standards require students to learn about the Civil War, the causes of the Civil War, the issue of slavery, the issue of secession, the issue of states' rights versus federal rights. All of those things are being touched upon in this project because we are doing some discussion, we are doing some notes every day, and I relate it to the things that they're doing in the classroom. So they're getting a very well-rounded education about the war. They're learning all the things that are required through the standards. I think it's just how we're getting to the end result that's a little bit different. I think they're learning a lot more this way. Now, the idea of this is not to be 100% all about acting because this is about learning about the Civil War and representing the characters, the places, the situations, so we all learn. Overall, what we are looking for in this project as far as assigning a grade is the historical content, the historical accuracy, the clarity of the presentation. We aren't grading as much on the actual performance as we are in the history and when Bonnie and I were looking at the rubric and then looking at the kids, we were shaking our heads, yes, yes, oh, that's great, great information. They included things correctly. I give them a lot of credit. I rate them really quite high. I have learned a whole lot more in a week than I have in a while. I love the environment and it was a really fun experience and I hope that Next year or in the future, kids get to do this too because it was really fun. It was really fun.